Boys, a bit of a different one here. Um, we've been on the internet. I love the internet. It's the best place in the world to get angry at stuff. And uh, today I am currently laughing at people who thought that Homelander was the hero of the boys. Oh. So they're 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 having a meltdown again. The conservative man, uh, you know, the people that sit around uh, saying that people are crying and offended all day. Well, they're crying and they're offended again. And no, it's not it's not a it's not it's not it's not light beer this time. Um, it's the fact that it took them four seasons. To realize that they were the butt of the joke. Somehow, these people believed that Homelander, the rapist, murderer, uh, was the hero of the story The Boys. Whoa! <laughs> He's wearing an American flag! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. Mm. So... So it took them four years to figure out that the boys was mocking them. It, it, no joke. It took them this long. This is, this is the caliber of people we are dealing with. And they finally figured out that the boys is making fun of them. And now that, now, now the people that complain that everyone else is offended all the time and overly sensitive and have run to review sites and said, the superhero TV show is a Spiro now. It's woke now. Oh, no. Do you know what woke means? It means things that make fun of me are now included in woke. Woke is just everything they don't like rolled up into one. We've all said it a million times, but the way that that word can mean literally whatever they want it to mean is, is just incredible. So Eric Kripke, the creator of The Boys, has refused to apologize for being woke. Woke is, of course, in quotations because... It has to be. As season four of the Outrageous Superhero series arrives on Prime Video, boys, there's a lot of complaints that you can have about the boys at this point. It feels like it's being hacked to pieces into 9,000 different spinoffs that don't, they're not needed, let's be completely honest. The show itself is, it, it seems designed to be YouTube click, clips. Um, the writing's never been great. I don't know. I, again, I don't know what you guys saw in this. I think you saw superheroes. You saw uh, uh, you saw alt right Homelander, <laughs> uh, um, and you thought this is this is fucking great. And then you realize that you're the butt of the joke, and now it's bad all of a sudden. Okay, well that's, that's mm -hmm. offended, sensitive again. Everyone else is, but if you put something in a TV show that they don't like, they're running to 15 websites and saying show bad. But but they're not the snowflakes, boys. No. 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 They're the adults. You're the snowflake. They're just mad that the superhero TV show made fun of them. That doesn't mean that... Okay. I'm certainly not going to pull any punches or apologize for what we're doing. Some people think Homelander is the hero. What do you say to that? That's a good quote. Um, it's a sign of a very broken uh, group of people. <laughs> uh, I can't... I can't think of a scene where Homelander comes close to being a hero. Not one. There's not a single scene that I can link in my head that makes him anything but... An absolute enormous pile of shit. There is something... <laughs> it, it's almost incredible that this is the world that we've, we've created now. that we're, the, Where we're at. Conservative males sitting on the internet crying that everything they don't like is woke. Calling everyone else sensitive in between that. And then when they're done that, running to review sites to say that the superhero show made fun of me and it is now a zero and woke because that's the only word I know to describe thing I don't like I got one thing for you guys the conservative baby movement 
um, probably just stop watching new media. It's not going back. <laughs> it's not. Um, you'll never have what you want again because it's impossible for you to have it. And I'm going to tell you why right now. I was listening to some guys have this discussion about a movie. And they were excited about this movie. But before any of them had even seen it, one of them says to me, he goes, you know what? I was looking online. It's pretty woke. Now, <laughs> he hasn't seen the movie. He hasn't seen anything about the movie. But he went online and he saw other guys like him say, uh, It's woke. And now that movie is ruined. It's ruined for him. Because even if he goes to see it, you know what he's going to be doing the whole time? He's looking for that wokeness. He's got to find it. He's got to see it so he can be mad about it. If he doesn't see it, he's not going to. He, he'll make up stuff. He'll make up little things that, that made the movie woke. You could go back into the 80s and look at all different kinds of movies and act like if it came out now, oh, it'd be super woke as fuck. It'd be woke. Star Wars would be woke. Why? Well, Luke's disabled. You lost a hand. If that came out today, you would say they threw that in for disability. You would. You know you would. You know that there would be article after article after article after article about how they are pandering to the woke left because Luke lost his hand. Berserk, same thing. Why does he have a hand? Why, why would they add that? They, they, they're shoving it in our faces. Shoving it in your faces. Do you know why that you feel that this stuff is shoved in your face? Because you actively go out and look for it constantly? Because every media source that you look at is a media source that is pandering to you, showing you those stories and about how they're bad. The reason that you think that it's shoved in your face so much is because you respond and answer and click on articles and tweets and posts that contain people complaining about that stuff. And then whatever algorithm on whatever sites sees that you've looked at that and then keeps pumping it into your face, you are doing it to yourself. But you don't get it. You're not smart enough to figure it out. It's not being shoved in your face. You're shoving it in your own face. And the algorithm will, oh, he was, he was interested in that story. Let's send him, let's send him more of that, st that kind of stuff. It's like I said, just go and watch all your old shows. It's all you want. It's all you want is your old shows. Over and over and over and over. You want your Star Wars? I don't want new Star Wars. I want Star Wars to be like it was when I was a kid. Well, Star Wars isn't for you anymore, big guy. It's for kids. Um, they design it for kids. It's a kid show. You're 50. It's not all for you all the time. It's time to grow up, guys. Not every piece of media is made specifically for you.